when we rearrange v equals d over t for, for d, we have to take the equation and multiply out the t from both sides, and now we're left with d. And so d equals vt or tv, either way it doesn't matter, but that's the rearranged equation for d. To solve for the denominator, v equals d over t, to solve for the t, we actually have to multiply both sides by t. The reason for this is that if I just got rid of d and try to isolate t this way, I would have the inverse of t, not t. What that means is I, I'd have 1 over t, and I can't do that. So I want to get t to the top. I multiply t out by both sides. Once I do that, I have tv equals d. And then after, after that, all I have to do is just get rid of the v now, v, v. And these are going to cancel out. t is isolated. t is alone. t equals d over v. So over here, d equals vt. Over here, t equals d over v. And just a quick way to think about this. So, so taking a look at the three rearranged equations, a quick way to think about this is that if you are trying to isolate the d, just move the t to the top. And you're going to get d equals v times t, which is the case. And if you're trying to isolate t, you're going to move t to the top, but also bring v back. So I'm going to put an arrow this way. Either way, you're going to either be doing one or two steps right here. And there you go.